Hi everyone! Thank you for joining me here. This is Ash. Uh, welcome YouTube world. Uh, this is my first sort of tutorial walkthrough uh, and I'm actually doing it on request. A lot of people requested I um, just explain how I did a few things on this little subway animation that you can find on my channel. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can help you guys. I don't know. I'm, I'm there's far better people that can do tutorials about Blender and all the techniques and things that, you know, you can use, but I'll do my best to walk through what I did here. And hopefully that helps you guys. Um, but yeah, here it is. This is all it is. It's just a simple little world. A lot of it is just geometry that I extruded and subdivided. The buildings are all copied and pasted. As you can see, I just moved them. And, uh, you know, like, look at these row of houses right here. Look at this. These are all the same thing. It's literally just a cube. I didn't even subdivide <laughs> the uh, the windows or anything. They're just there. All that's done with the grease pencil. Um, and yeah, and just colored them differently. Various different things. Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, you know, I modeled this little underpass or overpass, I guess it is. And the subway station itself right here there you go Let's see if we can get in there yeah there you go platform all just modeled and copied control d is your friend let me tell you um the subway cars itself we're, i'm gonna hide just a few of these things so we can see a bit better hopefully that helps you guys um the subway car itself was the most like extensive thing to model now I did this animation well over a year ago uh, maybe even longer maybe two years ago now I can't even think uh, and I was fairly fairly new to blender so I was just trying things out and I'm looking at stuff and going oh why did I do it that way uh, like for instance this subway car look at that that is just ridiculous the amount of geometry going on there um, and I, I guess the thought process I had was I'll just model one big rectangle to be a car and subdivide it so that it looks smooth. And that's exactly what I did. You can see the amount of geometry there, which, to be fair, isn't a bad thing. But I have since learned if you are exporting to a game engine or if you have a lot of things going on in your animation, there's not a lot really going on in this uh, in terms of assets and and builds and stuff but once you get a bigger and bigger and bigger scene you want those ge like the you want the geometry to be really low um you can go in and decimate stuff uh in the modifiers which i don't even know what it would do if i did this let's 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 have a gander uh let's see oh man oh i guess it's not that bad but i would have to like unsubdivide it like many many times yeah i mean let's see let's let's apply that and see what geometry comes out of it uh there you go so yeah like that's that's come down to a lot but obviously the smoothness isn't there if you are struggling with smooth i always recommend trying this dude here the auto smooth under normals it works wonders uh you do get sort of cleaner lines and stuff like that but i'm gonna just undo what I did there <laughs> so that we can uh there we go yeah so yeah just just bear that in mind if I was doing this again uh which I probably will actually because a lot of people gave me some great feedback and criticism and stuff on my original if I was to do it again though I would make all these windows and doors sort of separate entities I think but you know for the sake of a first go and testing things out it didn't come out too bad um, there is an inside, which is literally just, I made a bunch of seats, as you can see, and again, just copied and pasted and moved them about, and I just parented them all to the train, to this outer car. Um, that's it. That's all I did. And, and all this is just shading and, and flat colors. If I go into shading, let's see, you'll see. Let's see let's see what I've got subway interior yeah there you go um, this sort of 
half and half look, which I know people have asked about, it, that this is all it is, is a color ramp. You'll see it better on the outer. There we go. Yeah. And all this does is where light hits, it will be this color right here. And where it's shadow will be darker. So, I mean, you can play around with all of these right here. Let's make it drastic. There you go. Uh, and you sort of, you want it to be, if you're doing something like this, you want them to, the, the two little toggles here to be quite close. So that there's like a, a quite a cut in light to dark. Um, but that's all I've done for everything here. It's just this, this color ramp. So have fun with that. You can actually, the way this is set up is deter, the, like the, the shade and light is determined by where the light sources are coming from, which I have, uh, oh Lord, I have a lot of lights. Most of them are in the subway station. I think there's about two or three or four in the, the subway station, but that's what's being determined. You can parent it to the um, camera itself by using the camera data. And I think it should just go into there. So yeah, there you go. This works well if you are trying to achieve sort of like maybe like um, a half toning look as well. So sort of like Spider-Verse into the Spider-Verse. Um, that's what they did. They parented it to the camera. So no matter which way the camera is showing, we'll always have these, this, this look right here. And if you swap it over, it will always be blue facing the camera. There you go. See, you can see the, the distinct change there. This is based off the lighting and that is based off of the camera angle. You do whatever's best, whatever looks cool. I think that actually looks pretty cool, cameraing. You get a, a very distinct cut there. Um, the other big question people have t asked me about is the um, line art in it. Now, again, I did this years ago, and I actually did all this line art myself. <laughs> I did every line you see in here, um, all with the grease pencil, all with a mouse. I didn't even have my graphics tablet at the time. Um, but there is thankfully an easier way to do this now. In Blender 2.93, they came out with the um, line art modifier, which will save you so much time. Um, it isn't as um, like, I don't know what, what the term would be like selective as doing it yourself you may have like if you are wanting to have all of these lines here you you'd have to go in and make geometry cuts um so you can combine both the line art modifier and um the like you know like hand-drawn uh graphic uh grease pencil elements to to get the look that you're you're going for and i'll actually show you here um, this is just a blank template, obviously. To add your own grease pencil, all you need to do is I always um, cursor to selected to whatever object you're going to want to, you know, draw on. And then just add a grease pencil blank. And then we're going to go into draw. Now, a big change that has happened in the later versions of Blender is you always have to have this keyframe uh, toggle enabled. So make sure that it is blue. Otherwise your line art won't show up. And that kind of confused me when I went back in to sort of look for, at this again and be like, why isn't my grease pencil working? It's this guy down here. Make sure he's toggled. Um, so we're just going to quickly go in and make a grease pencil. Uh, I don't know. We'll go with, we'll go with bright pink. Um, and this is where you change your radius. So you're, you know, pixel line you know that's all you do and you can actually right click and do it from there as well which is pretty awesome um this right here is where you choose which kind of line art you want to have marker bold if you want marker bold there you go look at that marker bold this is actually how i did the sky in that little tutorial in that little uh video let me just bring him back up yeah, so this sky right here is literally just a marker grease pencil, if I remember rightly. 
Oh, no, sorry. He's draw noise. There you go. Draw noise. That's all he is. I just scribbled across the, the screen with it um, with a big radius. Yeah. And it's just two different layers. That's all that is. Um, but one thing I will say when you're, uh, if you're wanting to, let me just erase these guys. Um, if you're wanting to draw on a object, like I have for like the subway cars and stuff like that, <clears throat> excuse me, you need to make sure that you've got origin surface selected. And it's this offset here that's going to be your best friend in this kind of situation. You want it pretty low. I think I did mine on like 14 or point 14 or 15. And all you want to do is just like get into an angle where you can see the whole line that you're going to try and draw on and click. And if you hold down shift, it will draw. Oh, nope, not shift. Oh, wait, there we go. Hang on. Is it shift or control? I hate, I hate, I do it without looking. There you go. Yeah. No, it's definitely shift. Okay. So if you just click in the corner, this is all I did for this, this line art. Hold down shift, click, and then draw. And it will draw a straight line. I made the radius quite big so we can see it. But you can see how it's lined up right against that, the, the edge of the box. It's this surface offset that is doing that. Because I think it comes at like... 1.5 or something like that and you'll see in a second what happens so let's go around here see how far away he is so yeah keep that in mind keep it around like a 14 or something like that but try it out see how far you want it to be there you go see like he's pretty much on the box and that's what you want and again just play with these radius radiuses if you want it really thin go for it there you go okay and you can draw whatever you want on these surfaces and yeah I I tended to go in where you could see the little bits and pieces on let me get out of draw here otherwise I'm gonna start drawing everywhere uh, where you could see definitive edges so door frames window frames like you can see all the line art that's all the line art right there uh, the grills as well, I also did just by simply, you know, holding down shift and drawing. Um, but, but that's it. That's, that's really all it is. And it's the same thing for the buildings. They're all just, yeah, grease penciled up. Um, if you want to take the easier approach though, let me go back into this one and... Let's just delete all these guys and add in a cube. This, this is going to be your best friend. I swear right now. Grease pencil. And this is in 2.93. So you have to be on the latest version. Uh, scene line art, collection line art, or object line art. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. That would save me so much time <laughs> if I had that when I had originally done that. And there is a lot of settings in the modifier style. Like you can do the thickness, the opacity. So if you want it just slightly down like that. Um, I, if I, I'd be lying if I said I knew exactly what all of these things do. I have no idea. I'm still learning myself. Um, you can remove doubles, overlapping edges. Um, the, like I said before, this isn't as refined as how I created all of this line art on the, the subway. So like I said, you may have to combine both techniques. Um, but yeah, th that's it. That's all it is. It's some grease pencils, uh, some color ramps, and uh, a lot of patience, really. <laughs> So I, I hope that fills you in on what I did. I hope that explains stuff. Uh, feel free to message me in the comments. Um, and I will do my best to explain further if I wasn't very clear on this. But I thank you guys so much for viewing my videos. It does mean a lot. I'm still very new to all this and enjoying the journey. And 
it's it's cool when other people enjoy the journey with you so yeah there we go my first tutorial done and dusted uh if you have any other requests of stuff you'd like to see i'd be more than happy to try and explain them uh or at least i will direct you to the proper channels on youtube so that you can continue your your blendering and please share with me what what you've done I, I love seeing people's work i love being inspired by everything that's in this community so enjoy have fun uh and and i'm sure i'll i'll talk to you all on youtube thanks guys <laughs>